over here at MESA on the PMI booth with Paul Wolf, who's going to show us a new uh, valley module called the Dynamite, and I guess he's going to tell us why it blows the competition out of the water. <laughs> the Dynamite, the, the Valley People Company was born from a company that was called Allison Research in Nashville. They were the first ones that ever did a noise gate, first ones that ever did a really cool compressor. Uh, they, the, the company went through some changes and they became Valley People. And Valley People had some the, the the next you know the next level of compression and dynamic control. They make their own VCAs. The VCA in this unit is called the TA101, which is made exactly the same way it was made in the 70s and the 80s. Very popular, very good sounding VCA. It has a discrete RMS detector. It's not a chip. It's got some very interesting functions in it that a lot of compressors today don't have. Um, this particular unit can do compression, it can do limiting, it can do uh, a noise gate, and it can do expansion. One of the features of it is it's extremely fast. You can put a snare drum into this thing in the, in the, the limit mode using peak detection, and it will completely eliminate the snare, and all you have is the room sound. If you want to get a room sound for a drum kit, this is the compressor to do that, it's amazing. On the unit itself, you have a, a noise gate mode, which is one of the fastest noise gates in the industry. Now, you know, nowadays with the, with the, you know, the DAWs, they, because they have the ability to look forward, look back and everything for do, doing noise gating, the, the necessity for a noise gate isn't that great, except this has a really nice sound and it has a nice pop to it. The noise gate is extremely fast, okay? And then you can also go into an expansion mode and the expander, and I'm sure, you know, nowadays maybe, you know, people may not know what expansion is. But expansion is, is similar to a noise gate which turns on and off. Expansion actually ramps up to that level. So you don't lose a subtle drum roll or a, a soft spoken word. It may be lower in level, but you don't actually lose it. But it does keep the background noise down. With that, you can go with a peak detected noise gate or an average detected noise gate. There's no attack control on this unit, okay? It's done with this peak or average, which is basically extremely fast or kind of a medium slow attack. You have an internal key that feeds the RMS detector, or you can go through a filtered uh, key, which is tailored around voices. So it acts more like you can use it as a de-esser, okay? Um, and then you have an external key input, which you plug in the front with a TT jack, because you know the 500 series does not have any other access in the back except input and output. So any keying or linking has to be done from the front. We decided to do this between all of our modules using the same, the same jack configuration. So you have a control input and you have a key input. The, uh, the limit mode, when you're dealing with the, the peak detection in the limit mode, that's the mode where you can completely eliminate a snare drum and have just the room sound. If you go to the average mode, it allows the first portion of the snare drum to come through, and then it compresses. And by adjusting the depth of the compression, you can make a snare drum that may be a little dull sounding. You can really make it pop out in a mix. You've got a threshold control that goes from uh, minus 40 to plus 20. You've got a release control that's 0.05 seconds to five seconds. Five seconds is very long for a compressor. You have a range control that goes from zero to minus 60 dB. That's both in compression and in the noise gating. So you can compress 60 dB. Um, then you have an output makeup gain control, which goes, you can drop it uh, 15 dB or boost it 15 dB. Uh, you've got a full range LED display that goes down to minus 40. Uh, this unit right here was very famous for doing a lot of the records in the 70s and 80s, depending on whether that was the Valley people or it was the, you know, the original company. But that is a completely discrete unit. The VCA, everything like that is all handmade. It's phenomenal. It's a complete exact reissue of the original Valley people. So Paul, what's this going to cost? The list price in the United States in dollars is $799. And it's available now? It is available now. That's great, yes. thanks very much. All right, thanks.